Hi everyone, welcome. Today I am sharing with you a spring thrift haul. I went out thrifting last week and found some fun home decor pieces that are in my eclectic farmhouse vintage style and a few clothing wardrobe items as well. So I'm excited to share that with you because spring has arrived and it's time to freshen up and renew the home and a little wardrobe. So also this is in collaboration with Lizzie at Lizzie's house. She has a channel with a lot of thrift hauls too, some decorating, um, some cleaning even, some lifestyle. She is also a mom of four and she's got her hands full so go check out her channel. So um, let's get started and give this video a thumbs up for thrift hauls. Alright, I'm going to start with the decor pieces first. And I am so excited about these candlesticks. Um, each of these, I got four of them right here are a dollar a piece. They're all different sizes and I was in love with them when I first saw them. I really like brass candlesticks. They were made in Taiwan. Um, they have some old candle gunk in it, but so what? That kind of gives some history that they were used for something. So they all are different sizes and this will look beautiful either on my built-ins or on my shelf in the back behind me. So these are probably my favorite find of all, especially with just being $4 for all four of these. All right, this next item was a little bit spendier. It was $3.95. This store I went to, items were just a little bit higher priced. I've never been to these thrift stores before either, but they were so fun to be at. Um, this is like a galvanized container for, I believe, just um, displaying items. And I think this will be really cute on my table for spring. Put a plant in there, um, maybe some Easter eggs or something for Easter. But it has these leather straps on it. And I don't know where it originally is from, but I really think it's very farmhouse rustic and I like the look of it. It'll be cute to display items in. All right, same thrift store. I got this hanging basket and I am in love with it. I love the dark look and it was $4.95. So again, a little higher price than I would typically pay. I want to do a collage of three baskets on a wall. And so this is why I got this basket. It does have like the metal in the back. So then I thought, oh, that'd make it really easy to hang. And it was hanging on the wall actually when I picked it up from the thrift store. So that was $4.95. All right, these were all, I think they were $2, I want to say. They are some cloth napkins. Now I use cloth napkins when we have guests over and these have just a slight pattern to them. Um, they are a little bit dirty and worn in some places, but again, that just means they have been gently loved and used before. So there is a little detailing around the edges and I think these will be adorable for springtime to display. There are, I don't even know how many I got, one, two, three, four, six. So perfect because we have six spots at our table that we can use. So these will be beautiful um, for spring or to even put in a basket to display things. And I just think white is a very um, welcoming look on a table with the cloth there. So that was $2. All right, the next piece is from a Goodwill and it is just a spring hat. Now, I'm not probably gonna wear this. I am going to use it to hang. I think a good sun hat reminds me of spring and that summer is coming. And so I will just be hanging it on a wall or on a hook I have in my front porch, something like that. It has some white detailing around it. I wanna say it was $2 too, I'm not quite sure, but uh, I think it will be gorgeous on a wall. It needs a little poofing right here. It's a little, little squish, a little flat, but what a beautiful sun hat to remind you of summer coming. Okay, I have a couple other bigger items that I found as well and I'm just going to insert some footage here. I found this amazing clock. It was in a day in the life I had if you haven't seen it on Facebook Market. 
on Facebook Marketplace and I love the rustic farmhouse look that it has. It is quite large, it's like three foot by two foot and I plan to do something with that here in the future when we um, put up some new pieces in our living room. So you'll have to stay tuned to see that. But this clock was $25 on Facebook Marketplace. All right, another piece that I found on Facebook Marketplace is this wooden metal, it's kind of industrial looking side table. It was originally marked at $40, but I got it for 30. I wanted to get rid of our nesting tables that we currently have in our living room because they're just kind of outdated. They were free for us. And so I'm selling that on Facebook Marketplace as well. All right, so now I'm moving on to some clothing pieces, just a couple here that I was picking up. So um, this first piece is like a vintage tee from Old Navy. It was $2 at Goodwill. It's a dark blue. And I just like, as you can tell, I like wearing the vintage tee under like a sweater. They're great for summer when you're out working in the garden. Um, and I just like the v-neck as well. And then lastly, I don't know, this was kind of like a splurge, but I picked up this I believe it is a Walmart brand, Time and True. This pink sweater, sweatshirt, it was so fun. And I don't have a crew neck sweatshirt. It's very fuzzy on the inside. And I just think it's really fun, really cute, uh, pale pink. And this was $4.75, I think is what this was at Goodwill. Very spring-like to have a pink sweatshirt to wear, so. I am excited about those two clothing pieces. Anyways, that is my thrift haul. I hope it was fun to have you watch what I found. And again, hopefully you can go out and find some items for yourself, for your home, if your community and state is allowing it right now. Um, otherwise, I hope you took enjoyment in watching mine. So if you're new to my channel, I do videos such as these thrifting videos home decor, simple living, mommy videos, day in the life, I would love to have you um, hit that red subscribe, subscribe button and join my community here. So with that, I'm going to leave you. Check out Lizzie's channel as well. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day, and I will talk with you in my next video. Bye.